I'm going to talk about gathering massive amounts of data with SNMP. Uh, all nice. Yeah. How I do move this stuff? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. The task is um, that you have to ask for a lot of uh, object IDs from a lot of devices as fast as possible and then rinse repeat every five minutes. So this task is familiar to uh, basically every uh, guy sitting in a network department of a provider. Um, and the problem is, of course, scalability. The problem is a lot of OED, a lot of uh, devices. And the, the obvious solution is to use multiplexing of some sort. Uh, for example, it, it is possible to do with stock net, net SNMP module uh, because it does have some non-blocking options, and then you can do select and stuff like that. Or you could use any event SNMP. Uh, the next problem is uh, that unfortunately real world actually interferes because uh, network devices, uh, some of them are a little bit picky. For example, one Swedish DSL manufacturer, um, which by the way invented Erlang, chose to actually implement the management module on those DSWAMs in Java for whatever reason, I don't know. And basically if you send too many packets, uh, SNMP packets, too quickly to it, then it will crash, right? And there are plenty of exam examples like that, and um, uh, one big manufacturer of really big routers, which actually power kind of half the internet, uh, starts with J, ends with OS. Um, it doesn't respect uh, RFCs for SNMP. For example, it can easily reply you with an OAD larger than 128 bytes. Uh, no problem. So, and uh, sometimes uh, there is some router or firewall in between the asking uh, device and the answering um, uh, device, uh, which could also might be, might start dropping packets and, uh, and so on. So basically, you have to know your network in order to do it successfully and still meet your goal, right? Um, the next problem is, all right, now we know everything about the network and we do it correctly, and then one of our colleagues runs another power script. So all those limitations and throttling and uh, uh, delays between packet sends, they, they all go uh, down the drain because now there are several powers and what to do about that. Um, and the solution is just to use a single power, which leads me to uh, present the SNMP query engine, which is a standalone daemon with a nice interface um, which is TCP, which is data message pack uh, based, so basically uh, any language uh, could talk to it. And it handles all those little details like delays and throttling and ignoring destinations and so on for you. And it is optimized to do it very, very fast, as fast as possible. Right, so it's on GitHub and there is a Pro module. Uh, and I would imagine that if any one of you would like to write a Python or Ruby module for it, then you're very welcome. Right, and uh, in the simplest form, it looks like that. Basically, you have a lot of hosts, and you just iterate over them, and you say, okay, give me a particular table or a bunch of uh, object IDs, and then there is a callback in which you just get the results. Right, and since it uses any event, you could basically do some other stuff uh, in the same time. Uh, Right, it tries to abstract away a lot of stuff, but you still have to know your network. So it has a lot of configurable parameters you could feed it with. Um, a predestination or globally. Um, uh, also, most of the def defaults are pretty good. So for example, you could uh, set up your timeouts and you could say, okay, once this host got that many timeouts, ignore it for five minutes. Do not try even talking to it. Return timeout to the client immediately. Um, and all other stuff uh, to handle the real world uh, correctly. And that thing, for example, this is one of our polling stations, and it does sustained uh, 5K uh, OIDs a second, right? And with uh, somewhat larger peaks uh, for basically half a year without any interruption of the service, and so on. 
So if, uh, if you need to pull a lot of SNMP devices, then consider using this little daemon. Thank you.